I'm here in uh, South Carolina, just outside of Charleston. It's what's called the Angel Oak Tree. It's, uh, it's huge. Uh, just just one trunk coming out of the out of the the tree, and it's got numerous trunks. Here's the main trunk. A lot of the trees, a lot of the branches are crawling, if you will, along the ground and are supported by posts. Welcome to the Angel Oak Tree of Charleston, South Carolina. It is nestled in the heart of Angel Oak Park on Johns Island, South Carolina. The Angel Oak Tree stands as a living monument to the passage of time. With its towering height of almost 67 feet, this ancient southern live oak is more than just a tree. It is a symbol of endurance and resilience captivating visitors from all around the world with its grandeur. So says the angeloaktree.com website. The angel oak's dimensions are nothing short of extraordinary. The tree measures an impressive 28 feet in circumference, that's approximately 9 feet in diameter, at breast height. is a testament to its age and centuries of growth it has experienced. Its branches stretch outward to cover an area of approximately 17,200 square feet. That's 0.4 acres, almost a half an acre. There are many trees that are called live oak, but this particular variety is the Quercus virginiana. It is also uh, known as a southern live oak and is endemic to the southeastern United States. Many varieties of oak trees are deciduous in that they lose their leaves in the fall. This tree, however, is called a live oak because it is evergreen. Its leaves do not fall off in the fall. No one knows for sure how old the angel oak tree is. It has been estimated that it is somewhere between four and 500 years old, but it could be as old as 1500 years old. There's really no way to know exactly how old it is. Whether this is the oldest and largest live oak tree in the United States is really not known. There are other oak trees that are of similar size that are supposedly larger, like the Seven Sisters Oak Tree in uh, Louisiana. But the size of a tree is determined not just by its height, its width of branches, its crown spread, or the diameter of its trunk at breast height. It is determined by all of these factors and given a numbering system to determine the overall size of the tree, the height, the crown width, the diameter of the trunk at breast height. So even though the Seven Sisters Oak Tree has been determined to be the largest oak tree in North America by the Live Oak Society of North America, it has indeed a larger trunk diameter, but the angel oak tree is taller and is, has a wider crown spread. So based on all the points that could be added up, this tree may or may not be the largest tree in North America, but, it's certainly, but it is certainly near the top of the list of the largest live oak trees in North America, if it is not the largest one. The angel oak tree is in a grove of live oaks, and you can see the Spanish moss that is hanging from this tree as well as the surrounding trees. Now, Spanish moss is something that is 
not native to the Pacific Northwest where I am an arborist. So it was kind of a novelty for me to see the Spanish moss hanging down in all of these trees. It's a very peculiar looking moss to my uh, thinking. It's not something similar to the mosses that we have in the Pacific Northwest. As a passionate tree lover and professional arborist, I get a real thrill out of seeing large trees and unique trees wherever I travel, whether it's South America or Europe or Alaska or Canada or uh, all around the United States. And I hope uh, that this gave you some thrill like it has me to see this wonderful tree. And thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for many, many more as I travel and explore the wonderful world of trees.